Welcome to Comics on Parole. My name is Dan Glazer. How are you doing, Vanessa? We got our DJ I'm Vanessa. Fabulous. She's going to be here. Wave, wave real quick. Come over here. Wait, Come, give mom, over here, wave. Yeah. We're going to bring Vanessa up to say some of her where she's going to be performing soon. Hey, Al, how you doing? What's up, Clay? How you living? Fine, fine. Listen, I just want to give a shout out. We have a really good show with uh, Josh Harris and Sylvia. Uh, Smith up coming up. Sylvia was a comic for 20 years. They'll be up in a minute. But I want to give a little shout out to Jerry Farber Side Door. We have an open mic, open mouth at Jerry Farber Side Door every Wednesday at 9:30 p.m. It's a five dollar uh, door fee, but you get all the chicken wings you want to eat, all the sandwiches, and some stage time. So come out to Jerry Farber Side Door. Also, let's give a shout out to all the other great open mics like Laughing Skull, The Basement, Improv, Bonkers, and there's many more. So. Have a good time on an open mic and go out and enjoy yourself. And I also want to give a shout out to our friend Brian T. Shirley, who has a radio show called the BTS Radio Show on AmericanHeartsRadio.com. And that's Brian. You can see a picture of Brian there. But I want to show Brian before he went into comedy. This is a picture of Brian before he went into comedy. And I want to show a picture after he went into comedy. That's him now. So make sure to watch the BTS uh, Radio Show with Brian T. Shirley. Now I want to introduce a fine young comedian. Uh, you can start walking in and you can start playing some intro music. A fine young comedian known all around Atlanta and surrounding areas, and he's going to be known nationwide soon. He performs at all the major clubs, even travels with Jerry Farber so, uh, once in a while. And his name is Josh Harris. Hey, Welcome that's me. again. Josh has been on many times. How are you doing? Many times. And Josh has the reason we have Josh on. Don't sit too close. The reason we have. The reason we have Josh on today is to, start, is, is to talk about a very exciting thing, thing happening. Mm -hmm. um, it's his Kickstarter. My Kickstarter. Tell us yeah. about it. Well, uh, essentially, I have started a Kickstarter campaign. Um, for those who are unaware, Kickstarter is a... Uh, uh, platform that allows creative individuals, artists, to uh, crowdfund in order to actualize a creative project they're doing. Um, for me, uh, I'm actually on Kickstarter right now to um, crowdfund and raise money to have a, a night with Dan Glazer over here. Um, <laughs> his wife said if I gave her ten thousand um, dollars, she would. She would. I get part of the, it. Yeah. So. <laughs> uh, uh, this got a little weird. Okay. okay. Uh, so I am raising money though, uh, not for a night with Dan. That's actually free. Um, but it is uh, to fund a full-length musical comedy album, and uh, it's been incredible, man. It's with a Grammy. Nom It'll be produced by a Grammy-nominated producer uh, who's who's named Blue Hamilton. He's worked with Justin Bieber, Usher, and. And um, who else? I think done stuff with Neo, and now he gets to work with we, with me. So you're welcome, Blue. How'd you bump into him? Um, we him? met on eHarmony. No, I'm just. <laughs> we uh, we met. Uh, where did we meet? We I take my vocal coach is from Jan Smith Studios, and that uh, she's vocal. Uh, anyway, they, they she, my vocal coach works with Drake and some other incredible uh, professional artists, and he works at the same studio as well, um, sometimes, you know, producing for different artists and, and other stuff like that. So he actually came and he tracked 
one song, comedy song that I was working right, on, and right. we sort of hit it off. We talked, and you know, I had this crazy idea of you know I've done comedy songs before, but I wanted to do a full length album, and I just really wanted someone at the helm helping curate these songs and, with me. And through your Kickstarter, you're past your goal, which was seven thousand. It was seventy five hundred. And you're up to eight thousand now. We're at eighty two hundred. We passed the first goal in about eight days, and at one point we were the ninth most popular Kickstarter campaign in the country. Uh, out of 27,000 projects. Let's watch it now. Ooh. I'd love to be the father of all of your kids, but they're 30 years older than me. Oh, hi. Didn't see you there. I'm Josh Harris, stand-up comedian, writer, and actor for Sketchworks Comedy Theater. You may have seen me on Bill Bellamy's Who's Got Jokes, or in one of my hilarious music videos like Sabretooth. Yeah. You see, I bring joy to the world through stand-up comedy, sketch comedy, and my favorite form of creative expression, comedy music. And that's why I'm here. See, the goal of this Kickstarter campaign is to raise enough money to fund my first full-length musical comedy album. You are what you eat. You see, these aren't your typical comedy songs that don't make you bust a move. No, this music's as catchy as it is funny. And did I mention completely clean? And with your support, I'll be able to get the studio time, musicians, and producer to help me create this hilarious album. Are you kidding? I've heard a lot of great things about my comedy, but don't take my word for it. Listen to how my hilarious music's changed the life of this fanatic listener. Before I listened to Josh's comedy music, I was white and a woman. You're welcome, Vanessa. My favorite book is Eat, Pray, Love. Uh, you may be wondering, Josh, why do you need my money when you're lounging in a lavish pad like this? Well, that's simple. Because it's not mine. Who the hell are you? Oh, hi. I'm comedian Josh Harris. What the heck are you doing in my house? I was actually just promoting my Kickstarter campaign. See, I was about to let the people know I have incredible incentives to give away. Like autographed DVDs, comedy albums, tickets to my shows, even a professional massage from Melissa over here. I think I'll take that massage. And you're going to wear this. And you're going to let me call you Dorothy. I don't think Melissa's going to be comfortable with that. I wasn't talking to her. I was talking to you. Uh, bro, that ain't happening. Well, I guess I'm going to have to mess you up then for breaking and entering. Please help. Support this campaign so I can create hilarious, clean comedy music with amazing production value that brings joy to the masses. This has been my dream for a long time, so please give, and together we'll make this record truly special and create more hilarious music videos that can be featured at Sketchworks. You're going to be so grateful that you supported this project because I promise when you listen to this album, you're going to laugh, you're going to dance, you're going to learn to love yourself all over again. Time for my glutes, Dorothy. Now that 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 mm -hmm. person, that guy that used to be a woman, the black guy used to be a woman, was Vanessa. Yep. That was Vanessa. That was Vanessa. <laughs> yeah. No, no, that is Vanessa. Temporary. He turned back into <laughs> Vanessa. Yeah. Okay. Now tell everyone where they can go and donate to your Kickstarter. So thing. yeah, uh, my Kickstarter campaign is at www.fundthefunny.com, and this is the point I'm really trying to push. Just because we have hit our goal. Um, still contribute. Here's why. I set the goal at the bare minimum for just Blue and I to do this album. We're both incredible musicians. I mean, I do piano, drums, he does guitar, Oh, Blue bass. was on the show. Blue Hamilton? Yeah, Blue plays the guitar. Yeah, he was on the show about a year ago. Was he? Yeah, he was very good. 
Yeah, he played yeah, for yeah. Uh, uh, Justin Bieber. Yeah, 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 yeah. that's true. Yeah. So, what what the extra funds will be able to do? We'll be able to get extra musicians into the studio when we have crazy ideas, like maybe female vocalists, saxophone players, and especially um, for mixing and mastering the album, which does not uh, come cheap. So, get on their support, and I have incredible rewards for people who donate, like autographed uh, albums, tickets to my shows. Uh, what else? Incredible uh, fake political commercials customized just for you. So get on, support the campaign, and let's fund the funny, fundthefunny.com. And, and by the way, there was a video there. Stacy was in it, who's usually here at the show. She's at an improv show right now, and it took place at Jerry Farber's side door. Also, um, go watch this video. Go to his website and donate, donate, donate. But right now, we're going to have uh, Josh play a song. All right. And he told me he had to stay up here. I'm not sure why. Um, so here's the thing. People ask me all the time. They say, Josh, what would you do if this comedy thing didn't work out? Because everybody needs a backup plan. If they're absolutely right. They all, We all do need a backup plan. And someone was asking me the other day, Josh, what would your backup plan be? And it hit me. I know what I'd do. I'd run for president. Yeah. Here's why, if you look at anyone who's been elected the past 20 years, all you really need to know how to do one thing and one thing well, that's knock off a political commercial with a deep voice and terrifying music. As long as I have that in my back pocket, no one would stand a chance like you. What's your name, buddy? Dan. Dan? Do you like America? If you answered yes, then you probably have nothing in common with Dan Glazer. <laughs> Die-hard terrorist, an illegal U.S. citizen. Dan likes to brag that he's been back to school three times. What he doesn't want you to know is that it was DUI school, and all he needed to get in was a 2.0. People often wonder if Dan believes in no child left behind. His response? Not if my son takes too long to pack. <laughs> Dan claimed that he's a bipartisan individual with equal respect for both parties, but when asked who he voted for, he replied, I like my presidents like I like my coffee. Kind of black, but brewed by white people. <laughs> I didn't say it, Dan did. <laughs> Luckily, there's Josh Harris. A die-hard patriot and legal U.S. citizen, Josh's first child was actually a bald eagle. His favorite television station's USA, and English is his second language, because his first is American. We know times are tough, you feel like you've lost your voice, but Josh wants to give you that voice back. So vote for Josh, and let's put the U back in USA. God bless America, and thank you so much. Thank you. Very Except good. And we're going to have Josh back on to sing a song at the end, and let's take it to a, a commercial break. So, uh... That commercial kills me. That's it's really funny. It's funny. <laughs> Woo! Anyway, now we have coming. To, I want to play crazy music for this woman. How, now we have it coming to the stage. A uh, young comedian that's been actually. You can start walking up, Vanessa. Uh, uh, Vanessa. <laughs> Sylvia. Stacy. Come on up, Stacy. Uh, she's been a comedian for about 20 years. She actually took Jerry Farber's uh, class 20 years ago. She performs at all the major clubs and it has been touring. And uh, she used to dance at the uh, Claremont Lounge. Give it up for <laughs> Sylvia Smith. How are you doing, Sylvia? Hello. How are you doing? And it's just Sylvia. Oh, it is? Yes. It's Sylvia, the real housewife Life of comedy. comedy. What's Sylvia, your website called? Sylvia, uh, the real housewife of comedy. Okay. Now. Because I love being there. You do? Yes, I do. And that's a great shirt. Oh, know? thank you. I like that. I yes. got it to Salvation Army. Oh, uh, yeah. I see. It's a little faded. But uh, did your wife pick it out? <laughs> no. Oh, okay. It's cute. Uh, well, you know, I try to wear flowery shirts on yeah. the show. Yeah. Now, let me ask you, how many times have you been there? 
Um, just once. Just once. The just same once. Man. The same, same man. Does he like your comedy? Um, no. He doesn't? Because I really? talk about him. You know That's I, you know all you talk have about. to talk about when you're married is your spouse. It's the spouse. She's used to it now. She is. She's but, great over there. That's where you get, you know, you know, like my wife, and, she... She, you think she's trying to tell me something? She bought me a subscription to Match.com. <laughs> so anyway, those things come up. But let's see. Now, when did you start comedy? Um, about 20 years ago. Did, and what Jerry, made you do it? I, I didn't have a job. I had just had my babies. Yeah. I had twin girls. And I wanted to leave one of them at the hospital. Uh-huh. You wanted because, to leave them? Yeah, one, just one of them. And I was going to bring one not, baby not bring home. home. Right, because I, I didn't think I could do, you know, breastfeed two babies. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but they told me I had. I was gonna put her on layaway. Wait, you had twins? And pick her up a year later. Yeah, twins. Identical? Uh, no, they're fraternal. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. One looks like me. One looks like my husband. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. So one's uh, both the girls. Both the girls. Okay. Because mm-hmm. that and does happen. You can have girl boy. Yeah, you can have girl boy. Yeah. I, I think I conceived one like on a Friday and the other one like on a Sunday. <laughs> yeah. You know, we kind of broke up the sex and yeah. we, you know did it real good on a Friday and then we rest on Saturday and then we. Did you breastfeed them at the same time? Um, Only one. Well, I breastfed both of them on this one, and then my husband breastfed on this one. (laughs) And so, and it was really tough. I mean. But you're still in good shape. Thank you. And your twins are 20 years, some years old. Uh, they're, they'll be 19 on Thursday. Uh, happy birthday, girls. Happy birthday. Love you. Happy birthday. Yeah. So. Now, now, how do you, do you love being married? Um, I love it so much. If I divorce tonight, I'll remarry tomorrow. <laughs> Cause I, I don't I don't like taking out the trash and you know yeah, and, yeah. and and cutting the grass. I want the man to do that. You, my, my husband wasn't very good, you know, at the love making and everything at first, but now he's better. Yeah, you know I we you know I was, where'd you meet him? I, I met him at the postal service. He worked there or was staying yes, alive? Yes, he worked there, he and worked. I worked there at the time. Right, mm-hmm. right. So you went postal. I went postal. And you, mar- yeah, and you uh, married him. And I married him. Now, you like to go to the nail shop, right? I do. I, um, I love it. I, I, not necessarily my nails, but my toes. Do you see how clean they get your feet? I've never like, been to a nail never shop. Been, do you know they use a cheese grater? No. The, to, you no. know, they can scrape a lot of skin off of your feet with that cheese. Those Asians are amazing. Are they Asians? I'm not really sure. I, 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 but somewhere along that well, line. Somewhere along that line. They're all in the family. That's all. The yeah, family. yeah, 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 yeah. The uh, they scrape so much off, you can, it's another toe down there. I mean, you can actually. Really? Yeah, it's so much skin. There I mean, a, it's like surgery. <laughs> and they boil your feet. They don't, you know, they know that, they know that, that this water is not hot. not so relaxing. It, it feels real good, though. Because now, what, I don't wash my feet until. Now, know, what is this about until. mental illness? It, mental illness is real. Uh-huh. My, my mom is mentally ill. M- mentally ill. Really? B- BKA crazy. Uh-huh. Yeah. You, I mean, would you tell your child that I didn't have to have you? Oh, my would mother you, said that many she times. She said that all the time? All the time. In fact, she said she wasn't my real mother. She broke that to me when I was about four. My mom says she's my yeah. real mom, but I'm looking for my real mom. Mo- real mother, please come out. Please. <laughs> is she I want my mom to join a cult is she, if anybody is. Did you she know, watch so it? That, did she, uh, is she watching this? Well, she likes. She doesn't like my comedy, but she liked me when I did the male reviews. You know, I used to be an MC for the male reviews. Oh no! Yeah, okay. take 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 it off. Yeah. Real? What? Where was that at? Uh, that was before I started comedy. Before I started touring with. You know, I toured with Monique and Mike Epps and J. Anthony Brown and. Yeah, this was you know, a touring comedy made a living at this. Yeah, yeah. You used to perform with Jeff Foxworthy, right? Yeah. You do Jeff. Well, I mean, I didn't do Jeff, but uh-huh. but I knew. You didn't do Jeff. Jeff. No, I didn't do him. You know, <laughs> okay. Like, well, let's take it. Let's watch him, a little him. bit of her set. Okay. Presenting the House Comedy Show, hosted by comedian Paula Gilchrist, with nationally known acts as seen on TV. Enjoy a gut-busting time at the House Comedy Show. You in the first grade having a panic attack. What kind of shit is that? It's beautiful though to see black ladies hanging out like y'all right here. Last time I was hanging out with my girlfriends, uh, she was turning 50, one of them was turning 50, but it was just ladies at the park. So we thinking, well shit, we got a stripper coming. <laughs> you know, we getting out with all the bills ready. She stood up and said she was coming out the closet. Like, damn. <laughs> well, do you, boo? <laughs> Was there. <laughs> Do you, baby? 
Hey, I ain't trying to get with no woman unless it's Oprah. All right. All right. Y'all know Oprah got enough money to buy anybody in here. <laughs> now I tell Oprah straight up, girlfriend ain't eating no coochie. But I will vibrate your big ass to death. <laughs> Bend over, Oprah, Bend over. I wouldn't even use no real vibrator. I use a chicken leg because I know she like chicken. <laughs> How you like this, Oprah? <laughs> Give a <laughs> I would do Oprah shit. Yeah, 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 yeah. So that's the thing, how the sell lockers. No. no, that ain't it ain't the thing you just wear? I'm just different. Oh, you just different. All right then. I saw you when you was up here doing that little pump. I was like, look at this shit. Black <laughs> nigga got a knot. No wonder you got ten kids. You know? <laughs> Shit! Damn, Augusta is blessed! <laughs> I went all the way through Augusta that way. Tan up shit. It's all good, it's all good. Y'all got kids like my man here? Everybody, y'all can clap in front of the kids. Hey, kids are beautiful. I love them, I love them. I got a set of twin girls. And, um, one, one is really, really smart, you know, like Beta Club, you know, uh, Scholarship. Um, the other one, <laughs> she gonna need some help. Okay. All the way through life. <laughs> this bitch gonna need some help. <laughs> I'm gonna get a Hope Scholarship. Bitch, I hope you graduate. <laughs> I wanna go to college. Mommy, I don't, I don't I want to go to college. Uh, you gonna go to college online, bitch? Uh, we ain't gonna waste the teacher's time. We gonna do it twenty years. Uh, we gonna take your test in your drawers and just sit you know, there on the computer. But I'm just kidding. She she's a runner and she man she got a scholarship six years. I'm proud of that shit. Y'all clap it up for that. She, she does that thing. Uh, I didn't know she could run that fast till she came out of Walmart with all that shit. But, <laughs> Like this bitch is out running the ponies, run, bitch! <laughs> she could be outside playing. Uh that was good. That was very Thank good. Thank you. Did you always... The poofy hair is fun. That's... It's very That's comical. That's fun. I love and, it. Yeah. I love it. You... you do, the first time I saw you, you had to do like that. Yes. Mm -hmm. Just changed it. So you go back to this when you're not a comic. Forth. Yes. This so. is my postal service look. <laughs> do you come up with jokes every day? <laughs> I do. I mean, I add to jokes every day. Uh -huh. You know how, like, you go through your joke, you say, oh, I think I can punch it up. This way, you know, walk there, into it a different way. There's nothing way. worse than going over your old jokes all the time. Oh, God, it's, 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 it's like terrible. having a whole, uh, whole <laughs> face of makeup. I mean, it's like, uh, it's, it's the there. pits. Now, tell me, tell me, what is it about white ladies that tickle you? Uh, you know, it's this, this the don't whole thing. Back <laughs> what is that? I said, don't hold back because there's a white chick. Right oh, there's a white chick right there. But well, he used to be a black chick. Now she used to be a black She used to be a black guy. A black, a black dude. <laughs> <laughs> the whole thing is, this started with my white girl, hanging out with my white girlfriends. I got several things I say about that. But, you know, they, they love the boobs. You know, the, <laughs> they, 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 they call them racks. You know, like white ladies will go out and buy them some. You know, like are yours real? No, buy them. Yeah, they are okay. Yeah, Come here. Prove let, it. Let me feel them. Prove it. <laughs> She's really gonna fill me up on me. Um, I, 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 okay, I'm not gonna say, but I really like that. <laughs> no, come back. I want to feel. <laughs> Take one, I'll take one. Okay. Come on, <laughs> oh, no, no, give my no. wife it. Josh, come on up here. <laughs> it's the thing of the white lady that wants to breastfeed the four-year-old. Yeah. You remember that story? Yeah, yeah that's called uh, La Leche, the La Leche group. They breastfeed them to about six, seven years old. Six, seven. I mean, yeah. these kids have a full set of teeth. I mean, these kids can eat a chicken leg. They can yeah. bite corn. They ride the school and they bus. Still, yeah, right. I right. don't understand that. But who wants to breast express milk? Six, seven. That's the, soy milk. The mother doesn't that, want to give it up. They don't want to stop it. it. They don't want to stop being mothers. That's mental. Yeah, yeah. My that's, mother still breastfeeds. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, now, <laughs> that's incest. <laughs> that's true. Dan, that's, that's true. incest. Uh, now, um, you don't like to wash your uh, husband's underwear. No, because it's his underwear and the bottom where they say skid marks. It looks like they've been through a food processor, all the debris he leaves in the bottom of them. Yeah. Dan, you. Yeah. It's like spaghetti and oh. beef, you know. 
in his un, is it, yeah. in his boxers? Yeah, in his boxers. And he wants me to wash them what with is my he, dish towel. Is he hiding the spaghetti that you cooked because it wasn't good? Or? No, I don't think so. I think it's. <laughs> a, I think when he eat it, it goes through a process and it you know it lands there and it, it doesn't okay. wash out. Now, quickly tell us where you're going to be performing. Next. I will be at the Laughing Skull uh, next Tuesday on uh -huh. the 10th, uh -huh. and then I'm headed to South Carolina for Father's Day. Uh -huh. And at the end of the month, I am doing a show over in Tucker. Where at? I'm, I can't think of the place, so it's a new place. Uh -huh. It's DeMarc. It's called DeMarc. Okay. It's a okay. new place. Uh -huh. And then after that, I'm going to do a male review for a, a private party. I'm doing a male review for. So you bring the male strippers? Well, they're going to bring the male strippers. I mean, I, can, I, can, I, want, to, I want to try well, out let's get them. a preview then, <laughs> then. Let's go. Anyway, well, thank you so much, you Sylvia. It was a joy welcome. having you on. Thank you so much. And keep much. us abreast. Keep up, up keep as the, abreast <laughs> of <laughs> your, your, your the, growing in the, the commu gro community, the comedy community. <laughs> okay. Okay, so take her away with some music. Thank you. Thank you. And then you step over here to make a few announcements. Oh, yep. You can leave the music on later. <laughs> okay, all right, I'm going to make this really quick because I think Josh has another song, yeah. right? Uh -huh. Okay, so upcoming public appearances from moi. Um, of course, we have um, tomorrow night is Wednesday night, so it's karaoke at G's Midtown. You can find that right near the corner of 10th and Piedmont, Midtown, Atlanta. Also, doing another karaoke show on Sunday. Um, Wednesday shows from 10 to 2, and Sundays from 5.30 until midnight. Uh, I have some other really, really great public events, but I don't have all the details yet. But save the date for Saturday, August 2nd. Um, those decade-based theme parties are going to be kicking off then with our sock hop at the Concourse Athletic Club. That'll be from 7 to 12 on August 2nd. That'll so, be wild. Yeah, That'll and we'll wild. have advanced ticket information and, up soon, too. And tell them your website. Uh, it is www.audio, A-U-D-I-O, Prism, P R I S M E N T dot com. And you got to start, start taking some crazy pictures for me so I can post them on the posters. You keep forgetting the wild, crazy pictures. I know. Anyway, well, let's bring Josh back up. Josh, let's get him some wild, crazy music as he comes up here. And Josh is going to come back up here and sing a song. Loud, loud, loud. Yeah. Uh, so he's going to uh, sing a song about his girlfriend. My girlfriend. Called Sabertooth. Yeah. So give it up for Josh. Here. Thank you. Okay. <clears throat> so, Dan, uh, we was talking about um, my, my girlfriend. And I, I guess I should give you guys a little backdrop um i've been looking for a special lady you know someone to to share my life with and I, I started dating women my own age but you know they just weren't wise enough they weren't mature enough so i upped the ante i, I went out with women in their 40s which you deem the uh, the cougars but you know what they just, just weren't wise enough they weren't mature enough so i needed someone with wisdom someone with 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 true emotional development so i found the love of my life guys at limbrook retirement home yeah <laughs> She's 95 years old. She's not a cougar, no. She's a saber tooth. She's a little bit older and a little bit wiser. I swear that she speaks the truth. I've been with younger women and I've even been with cougars, but now I need a saber tooth. Yeah, I want an older woman with a hint of maturity Someone to keep me safe with her social security She's got her own style, yeah, she's a trendsetter Only girlfriend I've had that'll knit me a sweater Look at me So I must know Before Go. Would you be with me, my saber tooth? I'd love to be your taste of youth. Bring it here, Betty White. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're way too young to be Betty White, though. <laughs> You're beautiful. You make me wish I was still a. Sh you made me wish I was still a strong black woman, okay? <laughs> Be with me, my sick 
bird tooth I'd love to be Your taste of youth <laughs> You're the love of my life I want to make you my wife Isn't it plain to see? Yes I'd love to be the father of all of your kids, but they're 30 years older than me. <laughs> Sorry. I make them call me dad, though. <laughs> yeah, I like my women, like my wine, that's what I tell her. It ain't 70 years and locked up in my cellar. That's a little creepy. You're too young for that now. Yeah, our movie date saved me a hefty amount Cause we get a student and senior discount And so I must know Before I go Would you be with me? You might say, but tooth I'd love to be Taste of youth. Wash me down with Metamucil, baby. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Be with me, my saber tooth. Yeah, I'd love to be your taste of youth. Yeah, I want you to wear my ring. Whoa, 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 whoa. Cause I think you could save my world. Yeah, you could. You And beautiful Sylvia, and I love Hunt you, Lane. Sylvia. And come, we'll be back in two weeks. Uh, <laughs> Stacy will be here, so go to www.hermitybooking.com for all Yay! your opportunities. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Skinner, you're listening to American Hearts Radio.